in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get ready to pray along with her in the name of the Lord. If you could just raise this mic that was up here in the name of the Lord. Come on, church, let's get ready to praise him. Come on, praise him with expectation. Praise him with anticipation. Praise him like he's getting ready to open Hallelujah. the door for you Hallelujah. in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah right now. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> 
hear this morning in the name of Jesus that the dog will speak, my God. That the dead will be raised to life, oh God. That this gospel will be preached everywhere. That the church will be edified. And dear God, you will be glorified, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we want to be more like you, Jesus. We want to talk like you, act like you. And Lord, we want to be effective in our witness, God. Because we don't want people to see us. But we want them to see you in us, God. I ask to be this morning, God. And I pass the cup for Jesus. You have anointed him to preach and teach this gospel to a dying world, oh God. But I'm asking the God to wrap him up in your love. Cover him in the blood of Jesus. Stricken him in the spirit, soul, mind, and body. I ask you to walk with him. Talk with him. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, every time we get up here, God, I ask that you, God, to take over him, God, and speak to him, God, and speak to him, God, that the people would know, my God, that it is the Holy Ghost, my God, and not him, oh God, that souls will be one for the kingdom of God. And Lord, in the name of Jesus,
power in the name of Jesus. There's power in your name. Come on and clap your hands and help me sing it. There is power in the name of Jesus. There's power in your name. Help me say. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in power in the name. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in power in your name. Things change when I call you. Things change when we call you Jesus. Things change when we call your name. Things change when we call you Jesus. Things change when we call your name.
Say, Lord, I give this to you. I give this to you without reservation, without the intentative. I give it to you. I give you my praise. I, I give you my worship. I give you my hand clap. I give you my dance. I, I give you my shout. I give you all I got because, God, you've been good to me. There's a praise in the building. Run, Minister Simmons. Run like you got the joy of the Lord. Dance before him, woman of God. Rejoice before him, man of God. If you can't dance, leap. If you can't leap, clap. If you can't clap, shout. us online. We thank God that you're with us this morning. Uh, but there is an explosion uh, of praise. Uh, there is uh, an elevation uh, of praise uh, at the corner uh, of Jefferson uh, and High Street uh, in the city uh, of Buffalo. Uh, we have declared uh, that 2023 uh, is the year uh, of the commanded blessing. Uh, we just can't let it go. Uh, we must rejoice. 
hands. Excuse me. I got to praise him. Look at your neighbor. Say, excuse me. I got to praise him. I got to lift my hands. I got to magnify him. I have to exalt him. Glory to God. The devil tried to stop us in this consecration. He didn't want us to fast. He didn't want us to pray. He didn't want us to study. He didn't want us to get close to God. But we know that the Bible says if we draw nigh, if we draw nigh, if we draw nigh, if we draw nigh unto God, He will draw nigh unto us. Declare right now that you're closer to God than you ever been in spite of the struggle in spite of the pain you're still alive I said you're still alive you're still alive there may be trouble on every side but we're not in distress we are perplexed at times but not in despair persecuted mother but not forsaken father cast down but not destroyed somebody said the joy of the Lord is my strength I said the joy of the Lord is my strength I told you in the beginning of the fast to ask God for something hard I told you to hook up with your prayer partner and intercede for those that won't pray for themselves but I give God the praise oh this Sunday morning that God has declared in this consecration I don't mind believing God because he is a way maker he is a strong tower he is my rock of offense he is my shepherd that I shall not want he is the ancient of days hallelujah Isaiah said he's wonderful he's a counselor he's the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace somebody said he's the king of kings the Lord of Lords hallelujah the Bible says he's the lion of the tribe of Judah the offspring of David Revelation says he's Alpha Omega the beginning and the ending the first and the last the one that is and the one that is to come give God the praise somebody said behold the lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world somebody said he's a light of my salvation of whom shall I fear he's the strength of of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked and even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh the Bible said David said they would stumble and they would fall he said go and hold when he camp against me my heart would not fear the war would rise against me in this can somebody say in this I don't know what you're in but point to where you are and say in this hallelujah it may be a mess but in this there may be some sickness 
But in this, there may be some betrayal. But in this, there may be some lies. But in this, I will be confident. Mother Neely, in this, Mother Neely, in this, Mother Neely, in this, you must be confident. Give God the praise because in spite of this, I still have a commanded blessing. Why? Because I got you, you got me, and how good and pleasant it is for the brethren, for the family, for the kindred to dwell. We're dwelling right now in unity. Psalms 133. How good, how pleasant it is to dwell together in unity. I refuse to dwell in division. I refuse to dwell in confusion. I refuse to dwell in mess. But I choose. Look at your neighbor and say, I choose. I choose to dwell in unity. Tell your neighbor, hang out with me. Because you're hanging out with the praiser. We're coming together. The devil's mad. We're coming together. The devil's upset. Every family. Tell the devil to go back to hell where he belongs. And take command of your family. Of your marriage. Of your community. Of your ministry. Of your church. You tell the devil, I'm no longer stagnant, but unity is getting ready to flow like the precious ointment. The ointment is flowing. The anointing is flowing. The power is flowing. His presence is flowing. His favor is flowing. His attributes are flowing. Shine on us, God. Let the anointing, let it flow. Let it flow. Put your hand on your neighbor's shoulder and see if you feel the anointing. Say, neighbor, I want to feel the anointing on your life. Don't be stingy. Let your anointing flow in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Lord has shifted us one more time, one more Sunday. It's hard to tell our virtual audience what's going on here. But where you are, give God the praise. Where you are, give God the glory. Where you are, bless his name. Unity is flowing. Unity is flowing. You've been through too much. Why are you anointed? Because God. He fills you with the Holy Ghost. And when he fills you with the Holy Ghost, he says, you have my approval. Tell your neighbor, I've been approved by God. Somebody ought to bless him right there. Tell your neighbor, I've been approved by God. I will not die, but I will live. I'm walking in the favor of God. What about you? Point to yourself and say, I got favor. I got favor. I got favor from on high. Give God a praise for the commanded blessing. Bless you, bless you. 
tradition here. No program here. We might as well tear the program up. We don't know what a bulletin is in this church. We don't know what a program is in this church. So, it's something about the name of Jesus that makes me feel good. It's almost 10 o'clock. What's going on here today? I said it's 9.49. What's going on in this place? Lord God. Somebody knows that God is not through with them yet. Somebody knows that 2023, glory to God, has something for you. And you're praising Him right now, not for what's behind you, but what's ahead of you. Terry, there's something ahead of you that's bigger than you. You've got to praise Him. us once again and I'm so glad we can be obedient to the voice of God oh glory to God how many know God will change your plans this is Vanessa he'll change your plan we give you
God for his authority. In this move of God, is there anyone under the sound of my voice that needs to come to the Lord? Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I have some good news for you. There's someone that laid down his life for you. He died on the cross. He shed his blood for you. They beat him beyond recognition. They whipped him all night long. And the blood that was shed was for the remission of your sins. It was for your forgiveness. It was for your healing. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, psychologically. His name is Jesus. He loves you more than you love yourself. And if you haven't come to him and have accepted him as Lord and Savior, I want you to get out of your seat and I want you to come to this altar and we're going to pray for you and we're going to lay hands on you. You don't have to be fearful. It's a mighty move of God in this place. Just come from wherever you are. If you know that you have not, that you're not ready to go back with Jesus and you know that at any moment he could come, I want you to come to the altar before we do anything else. We want to provide and share the plan of salvation. If you walked away from the Lord, I want you to come now. Glory to God. You may have found yourself, you turned your back on God, but I want to know, I want you to know he hasn't turned his back on you. I want you to come in the name of the Lord and let me pray for you. In Jesus' name. Looks like an entire family coming. That's what I'm talking about. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Isn't this wonderful? This is by no stretch of the imagination. Wasted time. Now you can see what happened here. The Lord, there's a certain expectation that we have on a Sunday morning and we think that this is going to happen here and this is going to happen there. But how many know that God once again will change your plans and he'll change them for his glory. He'll change them for his glory. For a moment it seemed like nobody was going to come. But an entire family looks like they got up and came to the Lord. Jesus name so church what do I need you to do I need you to dismiss every distraction from your mind at this moment and remember when you had to come to God remember what God did to you at the altar remember who ministered to you and go back to that moment just for a minute or so and pray for this family glory to God that has come I don't know if they were invited here I don't know if they just came here but it really doesn't matter what I do know is they're standing before me and I believe that God could do a mighty work on this morning how many know that God can and God will so if you would allow me church take some time to minister to them but if we're going to be a unified church we must pray together on behalf of someone else unity is in the vision for Greater Refuge Temple for 2023 and I believe that unity is going to bring about so many blessings, not only individually, but collectively in the name of Jesus. And I'm gonna pray for this family and I wanna be able to, on what their needs are this morning, in Jesus' name. And I'm trusting that church, you will pray with me. I'm gonna ask you not to talk to each other, I'm gonna ask you to pray for this family so they can feel the comfort and the power of your prayers in Jesus' name. Lord, 
of God. I want, I want to let them know right now you're not here by accident, but you are here by divine appointment. These are her three children in the name of the Lord. The teacher says she has repented of her sins. She was baptized in water in this church, but she wants to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost today. I'm going to pray for her first. I'm going to pray for her children. She says they've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But how many know that the enemy is trying to divide families? He's trying to bring destruction not only to this family, but to every family under the sound of my voice. And this pastor will take the authority given by the Holy Spirit to declare, I bind every stronghold that will come against any family in this church. Because in order for us to be a strong church, we need strong families. I declare in 2023, families will come and join this church and build this church in the name of the Lord. But we must declare right now that the enemy has to take his hands off of our family. Glory to God. And I'm telling you, be serious with God. You tell the devil, take your hands off my husband. Take your hand off my wife. Take your hands off my son. Take your hands off my, my daughter in Jesus' name. For you, Letitia. He died for you. He shed his blood for you, and he wants to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit so you can lead your children to the next level of their relationship with God. In the name of the Lord, he'll do it right now. I can see the presence of God on you right now. Glory to God. Come on, church, if you pray, come on, pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Letitia, open up your mouth and give God the praise. In Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want you to praise God until he changes your language. Come on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Praise him. Bring the music down just a little bit. In the name of Jesus, Lord, right now. That's right. That's right. Praise him. Praise him. In the name of the Lord. You, you, you keep praising God. I'm going to pray for your children. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. In the name of Jesus, Lord, right now. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Praise him, Letitia. Praise him. Praise him. In the name of Jesus, bless this child. Protect her, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, cover her with your blood. Keep her angels and kept around about her. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. In the name of Jesus, it shall be done. It will be done. 
in Jesus' name. Keep praising him. Keep praising him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bless her. Keep her. The children are being blessed. Their mother is being blessed. I need somebody to come and minister to her to have the sensitivity in the name of the Lord. Come on, Letitia. I'm going to take your mask off just for a second. Come on. Just begin to give God the praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. The Lord knows what every tear means. In the name of the Lord. Family is being restored in the name of Jesus. Come on, family is being blessed right now. The Lord is dealing with this family and he's starting with the mother and the glory of God is resting upon her in the name of Jesus. I declare it right now in Jesus' name. Receive it. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Your past is behind you. You're an anointed mother. You're a strong mother. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is resting on you. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, pray. Somebody say family. Just remember, the commanded blessing is for the family. How good and pleasant it is for the brethren, for the kindred, for the family to dwell together in unity. We thank God for those of you that joined us online. You're a part of us. And we trust that you have felt the presence of the Lord through the vehicle of the internet. But I don't know about you, I feel the joy of the Lord. What about you? You should feel better than you felt when you came in. Oh, glory to God. God just moved among us. He just changed our service. I had plans to preach to you from where I wanted to preach. I wanted to talk about the anointing oil and I wanted to share with you the elements of the anointing oil and mother I had the calamus ready and I had the cassia ready but the Lord said not today not today he said I got a mighty move prepared for you let me tell you the Lord does incredible things when we praise and we worship him in spirit and in truth and allow him to do what he wants to do. Just for station identification, just from the outside looking in, it may appear as it's just emotionalism. Well, let me tell you something. Praise is emotional. Worship is emotional. Why? Because you cry, you laugh. Glory to God, those are part of the emotion, but there's, it's not emotionalism. But we worship the Lord the way we do because he's been good to us. I'm not going to apologize to nobody. Glory to God. I know some services, you know, are not this way. Glory to God. You know, the pastor gets up and tells a few jokes and makes a little homily, but there's nothing about coming to Jesus. There's nothing about the Holy Ghost. And if that's what you want, that's what you want. But I don't think we want that. I think we want the Lord to move among every pew, among every believer, and declare that God is just absolutely awesome. We want to we want to abide in his word. We want to abide in his word. I don't want anyone in here to be 
biblically illiterate. That's why I take my time in sharing with you. Come on, we have been talking about Psalms 133 since the beginning of the year. I believe this would have been the fourth installment, and the verse only has, uh, the chapter only has three verses. But that's just how the Word of God is. And I thank God for the, what He reveals from the Word of God, Greater Refuge. And I'll be sharing with you, just give me a little more time to, you know, the vision for 2023, and I will let you know where we're trying to go, and I think you can kind of sense where we're trying to go. We know the unity is the basis of this year. Not that we haven't unified in previous years, but how many know sometimes you have to revisit what you've already done? You have to revisit what you've already read. You know, the Bible says that faith without hearing, you know, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Sometimes you just have to be redundant to, so that it settles in your in your spirit. But I thank God for Letitia and her three children. In the name of the Lord, put your hands together. In the name of the Lord. And we, we want to believe that the Lord is going to fill families with the Holy Ghost. And if you pray and intercede, someone can come to this altar and be blessed every Sunday in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise, the glory, and the honor. I don't know about you. I'm glad I came to church this morning. I wouldn't have rather been any other place. See, when you come to the house of God, expect something. Come to, come to church with a heart of anticipation and expectation. Glory to God. That's, you're going to experience something. You're going to see something. You're going to hear something that brings God the glory and the honor. Glory to God. Church should not be boring. Church should be a wonderful place to be. Church should be a place where there's a smile on your face rejoicing in your spirit. We don't come to church out of religion or ritual. We come to church out of relationship with God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many have a relationship with God? And let me tell you something. I want to fellowship with you. I want to commune with you in the spirit. And as we unify, that commanded blessing is coming to us. So I will make an attempt to, to share the rest of this message as God has given it to me. It's, an, it's a powerful text. It's powerful information in it. Glory to God. And I believe that we're going to be blessed as a church. Now I'm going to just let you know that we have gone through this 21-day consecration, and I've given you, I gave you a scripture, Old Testament, New Testament, every day to read. How many read your scriptures every day? Hallelujah. Did they bless you? Did those scriptures bless you? You, you, you should have seen a common thread through all of those scriptures. Those scriptures dealt with the unity of God's people coming together to get a job done, coming together with like-mindedness. And uh, so I'm so glad for those of you that participated in the 21-day consecration. Some of you, you may have been fasting for the very first time. And, um, and uh, I'll say you know, a little bit more about that at the conclusion. We're going to prepare to worship the Lord in our, in our giving. But this consecration has been a blessing. Amen. Has it been a blessing to you? In the name of the Lord. So we, we want you to know it is the last day. You can, you can break your fast at the benediction. We'll see how fast the church clears out today. <laughs> now let me say something to you. I'm getting ready to, we're getting ready to participate in the ministry of the giving. But since I'm here, just take it slow. Take it slow. There's some things that, you know, some of us that were on the fruit and vegetable fast, you haven't eaten any meat, no bread, no pasta. You haven't drinking any coffee, nor tea. You know, these things that we're used to putting in our bodies. So I'm going to say this. Many times we don't talk about physical health in the church. It's almost taboo. But take care of the body that God has given you. Let me say over these last, over these last three weeks, we have told our bodies, look, I may be, you may think that you're hungry, but I'm telling you that you're not going to eat. 
How many took command over your body? You took command over your body. Some of you may have been tempted to eat. You may have been, you may have saw a commercial. That meant you was watching too much TV and you can't handle it. And Burger King was saying, have it your way. And you were saying, I can't have it my way. I'm on a fast. But take your time. Take your time going back. And just let me say this to you. You know, take care of the body that God has given you. Amen. Be healthy on purpose. Amen. I know we indulge in things. Sometimes when it comes to eating that we shouldn't. Say amen, Pastor Rob. Amen. amen. But, but, but take care of the body that God has given you. That means, you know, not just in fasting, but exercise. Exercise the body that God has given you. Why is Pastor saying this? Because we have to know that outside of salvation, outside of your, 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 you know, your, your family and your loved ones, the most valuable thing that you have is your health. Amen. Amen. So we want to be healthy just, just by coincidence on Friday. You know, I had my annual physical. My, my blood pressure was down. It had to be down because I wasn't eating the way I normally eat. So was it a, you know, it was at a pretty nice level. So once again, take care of the body that God has given you. You should have lost some weight. Your pants or your, you know, your dress, should, your clothes should feel a little bit looser. If they don't, you probably weren't fasting. And I told those of you, I said, listen, I said, those of you that are on medication, you know, eat what you have to eat and fast. Now, you know, I know some of you said, well, I'm on medication and my medication requires me to eat three meals a day twice. Three times. Now, we do this once a year, so don't be surprised if throughout the year I may call a day of fasting. Is it all right for me to do that? Yeah. Call a day of fasting, you know. I might say one day, you know, that's why this year I'm glad I got a little bit of time, you know, so we'll raise the offering, we'll be on our way home. But listen, listen, I may call a day of fasting and I may tell you, you know, that's why I want the, I want the church to check the church Facebook page every day. You might say, I don't see nothing for three weeks. Check it every day because I might put something on there that deals with something that we need to pay attention to. So I may say fast up to Wednesday night prayer. Fast up to 12 noon so that we can get used to fasting. We don't want to do this just once a year, but we want to we want to make this a lifestyle. See, when Jesus performed miracles, he had to let the disciples know. You remember the story in the Bible where they were trying to cast the devil out? And they said, Jesus, we couldn't do it. How come? How come, they, how come that, you know, we couldn't? And he said, this comes through fasting and prayer. Through prayer and fasting. So once again, you should be closer to God as you were studying because you're not eating and you're not distracted by food. You should hear God's voice a little bit clearer. So we just didn't go through this to say that we fasted. It wasn't a diet, even though it had dietary benefits but we did this to strengthen our spiritual relationship our relationship with God so those of you that are that participated I'm, I'm, I'm grateful because it says pastor I'm with you I want to unify with my church I'm seeing people coming back to church seeing new people coming to the church and I'm I'm grateful I'm excited about what God is doing in Jesus name so we are preparing to worship the Lord in our giving and I, uh, I challenge you to set aside five dollars a day it was one time we were setting aside a dollar a day two dollars a day but I challenge you in that area so that would be hundred and five dollars at the conclusion of the fast and I want you to give it as unto uh, the Lord in addition to your tithe and your offering and I will be sharing with you the seed for 2023 in the name of the Lord very soon, but we thank you for your commitment uh, to giving. And I, I brought some envelopes here. Those of you that need an envelope for your fast, I just want you to put fast 2023 in the other section and you can give that $105. And if you're going to do that, in the name of the Lord, you can come at this time. You can take an envelope. If you don't have one, if you have one, fill it out and put that in uh, the other section along with your tithe and offering in Jesus' name. So I trust that uh, you know, 
in the name of the Lord. Who's going to sow that $105? I want you to raise your hand in Jesus' name if you're going to do it. If, you, if you're going to do it, you have envelopes in the name of the Lord. Do all of you have envelopes? If you don't have an envelope, I want you to come in the name of the Lord and get it and just put 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 uh, Fast 2023 on there in Jesus' name. Take this number, Lord. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Anyone else? There's somebody that needs to try God in this area. Now remember, this is in addition to your tithe and offering, and we're just going to do it as unto the Lord. Once again, I believe. God bless you. Again. God bless you. God bless you, Missionary Leslie. Thank you. God bless you, Eric. God bless you, Eric. Yes, yes, yes. If you want to give electronically, you can put electronic on there and make sure that $105 in Jesus' name. There's somebody else that needs to do it, needs to try the Lord in Jesus' name. And I know that there are many testimonies that have come out of this time in Jesus' name. Lord God. And and, and I would be, you know, sometimes we, we need to know what God is doing. So I'll, I'll really, you know, since the service has shift it somewhat, we can shift it even more. There may be some that the Lord did something in these three weeks, Lord of God, that you want to share with the church. If there's anybody that wants to come to the microphone and share it, you can, you can do so. Because sometimes we just need to hear what God has done to encourage someone else. So that if you have, a, if you have something that you want to share with the church, I want you to come in Jesus' name. Because we don't want to, we don't want to do something as unto the Lord. And Jacob School of Medicine, part of just an, a panel of folk that I absolutely respect and admire because they are experts. But what I want to tell you is this. When you love God with all your heart and you put everything that you have into trying to make him see how much you do love him. You don't have to try really hard, but sometimes we do that, don't we? Don't we? Sometimes we, we pray really hard sometimes, especially. But sometimes God will put you where it don't even look like you belong. You understand what I'm saying to you? So on February 2nd, I'm going to be somewhere where it might look in the natural. Why is she there? But I want to tell you why I'm there. I'm there because somebody has got to say what needs to be said about that subject matter and about the fact that we have buried too many of our young people and our old people and people my age and women and men and boys and girls and babies. So I just want to thank you so much because every time I come here, I am blessed. And I want to thank you so much for everything that your ministry has done and your family's ministry. You have changed my life in a way that I am going to tell the world if I get the chance. Amen. We thank God for that testimony by Sister Sherelle in Jesus' name, one that represents the community and, and um, goes to bat for the disenfranchised and those that have been hurt and those that need intercession in Jesus' name. We need the people of God to be a blessing to our community. Is there anyone else, anything that God has done in Jesus' name? Let's give the Lord a hand, praise. 